Hi there, this is Coach Aaron, the uh, Director of Trampoline and Tumbling here. I have my daughter, Aubrey, here. Say hi, Aubrey. Hi. All right, we're going to show you a couple of things that you can do at home to work on your trampoline and tumbling skills. Uh, these are going to be our basic shapes today, uh, as well as some ways that you can use your drops. Uh, we're outside because, well, we want to get outside. It's it's more fun than in the house. Uh, but do make sure that you're asking your parents for permission to do these things, uh, especially if you're going to be bouncing around the house. So we are going to get started. All right, Aubrey here is going to demonstrate a few of our shapes. We've got a mat here. Uh, we're outside on our balcony. But uh, you can do this with some couch cushions in the living room or a mattress on the floor or whatever your parents will give you permission to use. All right, so Aubrey, can you stand at attention for me? Okay, in your soldier shape. All right, and we're going to do a straight jump, which means we're going to jump straight up. We're going to keep our legs together, point our toes, make our arms go straight up. Okay, Aubrey, are you ready? All right, show us a straight jump. All right, can you make your arms go to the side rather than the front? Go ahead. Out to the side. All right, good job. We want to snap our hands back down to our sides as fast as we can. All right, we're going to switch to a tuck jump. So we're going to try to bring our knees up as close to our chest as we can. We're going to try to touch our ankles, and then we're going to try to snap back to that attention or soldier shape real quick. So, Aubrey, can you show us how to do that? Good job. Try to snap those feet down before you hit the ground. Go ahead and try again. All right. Good job. All right. We're going to try to do our straddle jumps now. So on these ones, we're trying to touch our ankles if we can, and then try to snap back to our soldier shape as quickly as possible before our feet hit the ground. Aubrey, can you give that a try, please? Ooh, good job. And try to get your hands down by your side again. We try to do something that I'm calling painting our legs. So we want to, once we touch our ankles, we want to bring our hands right up our legs back to this position where Aubrey is right now. All right, Aubrey, give it a go. All right, and one more. All right, good job. All right, now we're going to try our pike jump. We're going to try to paint our legs again when we do this. We're going to try to put both feet out front. And we're going to try to touch our ankles and paint our legs back to our soldier or attention shape. Can you turn to the side a little, Aubrey, so we can see? All right. Give it a shot. All right. Good job. Try to keep your legs a little straighter this time. Go ahead. All right. Try that one more time. Try to stand it up. All right. Good job. All right, now we've moved inside, and we're going to practice those shapes a little bit inside and trying to get that nice kick out where our legs go straight right after we do our shape. So right now, Aubrey's in her tuck position. She's touching her ankles, and she's going to try to put her toes right through that balloon you see. Now, she's got permission to do it on the bed because, well, I gave her permission, and, but you want to make sure that you have permission to do this. This can also be on couch cushions or on a mattress on the floor or an air mattress or even on a trampoline if you have one outside. All right, Aubrey, are you ready to push your feet, th toes through that balloon? All right, go ahead. Give us a show. Good job, and that is a great position right there to finish off with. Aubrey, you want to set the balloon up and try it one more time? All right, get the balloon set in our tuck position and kick out. Nicely done. All right, now we're going to transition to showing our backdrops and some front drop practices that you can do on your bed or on cushions as well. So we're going to start out in our back in our seat drop position. So we've got our nice toes pointed, legs straight. Aubrey's got a nice posture. Now she's going to put her hands out in front of her and she's going to tip backwards, ending with her hands and her feet pointing right up at the ceiling and her looking up at the ceiling. Aubrey, you want to show that one again? All right, and nice posture, tip backwards, and boom, that's our finished position right there. All right, now do you want to turn around and get on your knees for me? All right, so on this one, we're going to get in a tall kneeling position, so up off your, all the way up, 
And we're going to get our Dorito ready, which is going to look like that. Nice flat hands. Now we're going to have our arms bent, right? So that we can keep uh, land with our forearms flat on our surface. And then we're going to tip everything forward, keeping everything in the position it is. All right. Remember next time. Yes, there we go. We've got our feet coming up. All right. You want to sit or kneel back up again and try that one more time? Oh, remember, we want to land flat on our butt. There we go. Probably not get our face into our hands, but that was really nice. So that is one way that we can practice our front drops. Now, if we get up in our hands and knees position or our puppy position, so we'll be on our hands and our knees. We won't be sitting on our tail like that. We want to have our tail up so we can wag our tail if we need to. In this position, try to push up and try to land in that bottom position of our front drop. So can you drop down to your front drop position, Aubrey? In position. Oh, where should your hands go? All right. Good job. All right, and try one more time and see if we can get all that to go at one time. So drop out, make sure your hands go out, make sure your feet go up, land flat. All right, give it a try. Go ahead. All right. Now that was pretty good ending position. We just want to try to go up instead of going forward like that. All right, I hope that's given you some great ideas on some stuff to do at home. We're going to have some other series where we're going to be on the trampoline for those of you that might have a trampoline at home and can get outside and do some things. But hopefully this gave you some great ideas. Give us some comments if you are have particular things that you want us to work on and to show you. And don't forget to post your videos of you trying these things and give us a hashtag virtualMHG. Thank you. See you next time.